A beautiful sunny day in Annapolis, Maryland here on the Naval Academy. Overlooking the Severn River set the outside team for the 2020 Patriot League Championships on the Patriot League Network. Good evening everyone, Corey Nido here inside Lejeune Hall on the yard. We're almost ready to do it here inside Lejeune Hall. Pool deck packed with everybody surrounding the pool. They're off the block and it's Navy out in front right now with Botifer, but keeping close is Army as we expected around the first turn. You have Navy and military going back and forth and it appears that Navy's fall behind behind Army right now as Mandolin Wynn just took in the dive to give Army just a little bit of a lead. It's neck and neck. You have Navy and Army in lanes five and six. Also Lehigh University making a run for it. As this is the second leg of the four. And off the block is Army first right now. 57 seconds into the race. Military with the turn. Yeah, Boston University making a run as well. So it's right now, not the way we were expecting it. It's Army and Boston University head to head off the final dive of the block. Boston University, you have Bella Garbage going and also Mikkel Rankin. Army with the lead, pulling away from Boston U. You also have Loyola coming through and the finish is. That was a good race. Boston U was the seventh spot there and they really showed out. So Army takes home the gold at 141-29 to score. Navy in five, it'll be Colgate one, Lafayette two, Boston U three. Loyola four, Navy five, Army six, Lehigh seven, Bucknell eight, American University nine, and Holy Cross 10. The men swim almost all the way, halfway across the pool underneath the water. Looks like Navy is out in the lead with Kayla Malden. Navy pulling away early with Malden. Now the second one goes 21-93 the first time that the wall was touched. That was by Malden. Navy starting to pull away here. Second leg swimmer is Dean Wynn, from a junior from Seattle, Washington. Earned second team all Patriot League honors in 2019. Navy pulling away again. Army now with a good head start. Next would be Army in lane six. There is a fight for silver. It appears to be between Boston University and Loyola in lanes three and four. Navy though, leading comfortably as the final diver of the quartet goes in. That is Chris Mayer, the senior. Mayer from Lakeway, Texas. Patriot League academic honor roll select in 2017 and 2019. Navy going to run away with this for the gold. Who will be second? It's close. And then the third, but definitely Navy taking home gold. And the other two teams finishing in lanes one and two in Colgate and Lafayette. But what a dominating performance by the mids here on the 200 yard relay. Unofficial. Take a look at the replay here, and it really started off nicely with you, the Navy's Kayla Malden just starting off, and then we'll see the finish here as it wasn't even close. A good full two seconds ahead was Chris Mayer to touch the wall. Good start here, very neck and neck. Right in the middle of the pack, as we mentioned, those three lanes in Lehigh, Navy, and Bucknell. 
Separated by less than a second were the three. Starting out for Navy is Aaron Scudder, the senior. Scudder from Western Springs, Illinois. Earned academic honors in one semester. 16 laps ago, just underway here in the 800 freestyle. Off the turn, Navy with a little bit of a lead there in lane five, behind closely in lane six, Bucknell fighting for third is Lehigh. Navy at good pace right now. It's the middle three lanes as we mentioned and Navy pulling away. Bucknell trying to keep it close. Scudder having good pace, good distance. Last year at the Patriot League Championship posted a trio of top three finishes in individual events and obviously part of this 800 free team that took home gold. 13 laps to go, Navy still in control. Bucknell looking to keep pace in lane four for second. Navy though with a commanding lead. Now Bucknell starting to slow down as Boston University is starting to make some leeway. Navy now hustling here. Good distance here for the mids, looking to repeat gold. Another turn here and the mids cruising along. Second is Bucknell. 11 laps to go here in the 800 freestyle relay. Just a little over two minutes and 25 seconds into the race. To tell there's a there's a pacing to this obviously it's not a sprint 800 yard freestyle relay the final two events here on this first night of the Patriot League championships Navy still with a comfortable lead Bucknell still behind and then third place we have between Lehigh and it appears to be Boston University. Navy still leading by a good margin, almost four seconds, or to me, two seconds from second place. Nine laps left here in the 800. Navy getting off the block first again. Starting to pick up the pace here in the freestyle. Navy cruising along right now, Bucknell as well you see in the orange cap, along with Lehigh. All right now it's a two team race for silver and bronze with Navy leading the way by a good pace. See the Bison trying to go there. Swimmers ch cheering on their teams. Navy. Continuing to dominate, six laps to go. Lehigh in lane four, pulling away from Bucknell, who's in lane six. Maryland, excuse me, Navy coming strong here. Trying to win this in a landslide. They won this event, as I mentioned last year, with good time. Navy had the freshman 
Look, Shimmy had the sophomore and Aaron Scudder go first, and she got them off to a good start. Over five minutes into the race, five laps to go. Final swimmer here for Navy jumps in, and Martina Thomas, the sophomore. She has been so good, the Fayetteville, Arkansas native. Was named the 2019 Patriot League Rookie of the Year. Trying to take home gold for the mids here in the women's 800 yard freestyle. Still has a healthy length on Lehigh. Who's in the black cap turning and then Bucknell in the orange. But right now it's all Navy. Three laps to go for Martina Thomas, the sophomore. Thomas chose to go to Navy, although three different relatives served in the Army. Her great-great-grandfather, grandpa, and uncle, albeit served in a different branch, but it was the Army. So having another year under her belt has really helped her. She was a wide-eyed freshman last year, part of the 800 gold winning team. Here she's a sophomore and commanding this lead. Two laps to go. Bucknell trying to keep pace but fading away. Lehigh seems to have a pretty good lock in second. But right now it's been all Navy as Holy Cross is trying to keep pace as well. Navy heading into its final turn. Will be Navy and then who will it be afterwards? Lehigh and Bucknell seem to be the possibility. Here comes Martina Thomas and she touches the wall well ahead of Lehigh's and Foley the junior. So you got Navy one, Lehigh two, and now we have a finish here for third, and it looks like it will be Boston University in lane seven. All the other teams finishing up as well. Take another look there, the relay champs for Navy, 7-11-38. Great showing there by the mid. Second gold of the afternoon, or I should say night now, for Navy. It's been a two horse race with the seed time, the Army and Navy. Will it be the same here tonight? Now the water quickly and it's pretty close heading towards the first wall. Again, Army and Navy running away with the time wise. It is Dominic Walls, the junior, leading it off for Navy. Meanwhile, for Army, it is a freshman in Sean Dwyer. Still going head to head right now. 23.48 seconds to touch the wall for the first lap. Going into the other turn. It's neck and neck between Army and Navy in lanes five and six. Now getting some separation. It is Army, the freshman. Sean Dwyer trying to pull away from the junior Dominic Wallace of Navy. 49.66. 14 laps to go. Army still leading here and getting some good separation. You can see it here. Sean Dwyer, the freshman, not looking like a freshman here in the 800. Pulling away and giving the Black Knights a comfortable lead here to start the 800 freestyle. Second round goes now. trying to keep pace as well as in lane six it's still the Navy now doing extremely well you got Navy pulling away Army behind and Kevin Lynn the sophomore Open 
Navy still pulling away. Army around in the second turn. And it looks like third is Loyola in lane four, but right now it's not even close. Navy, like in the women's side, pulling away here on the men's. Boston University trying to keep pace as well. We're just under three minutes into this race. Nine laps to go. All Navy, Army trying to keep pace for a silver. And meanwhile, it looks like Loyola looking to try and get a bronze, but look at the separation here for Navy. The final diver here for the mids takes a dive in junior Daniel Cook. Barring something absolutely unforeseen, Navy will cruise home with the gold. Loyola in third. Army trying to keep it close as well. Right now it's Loyola and Army, a battle for silver. While Navy cruises on here with seven laps to go. Daniel Cook the anchor for this mids relay. Cook from Virginia Beach. Named to the 2019 Patriot League All-Academic Team. Has received academic honors in four semesters and has attained a 4.00 GPA. And looking to attain a gold medal here for the mids. A healthy lead, as you can see, he is swimming across the grain a bit as all the other swimmers are going the other way. In lane one, is Colgate. Colgate still has another swimmer to go. So Navy almost a full, over a full lap ahead of Colgate as they look to earn gold. Now we go to the four laps here. Navy looking good, looking strong as we expected. Army taking a dive in as well, second. Loyola in lane four and third. Right now it's Cook. Serving as the anchor for yet another Patriot League Championship 800 freestyle. Three laps left. Meet record of 623.72 is the meet record set by Navy. And we are just at five and a half minutes. They are on pace to possibly get the meet record. Navy, can they get a gold and a meet record? Let's see how this goes for Cook. We're at 543. And now we're ticking upwards. 50 yards to go, Navy trying to break the meet record set in 2016. Six minutes, 23 seconds. Loyola and Army, the other two teams. Will they get the meet record? 623.72 is the record. Cook trying to get it and a gold for Navy. And we'll see, it was close. Navy, though, takes home yet another gold, followed by Army, and it appears to be Loyola who will take home bronze. The unofficial time right now has Navy at 6.22.72. That would, in fact, beat the meet record by a full second. What a dominating performance by the foursome of Navy and Dominic Wallace. Ryan Waters, Jack Dunworth, and Daniel Cook. Pair of mids right in the middle of the pool. Aaron Scudder and Martina Thomas. Can they finish 1-2 to take gold and silver for Navy? Early start here. 
Pair of mids in the middle of the pool, as I mentioned, and it appears in lane six, Martina Thomas with the early edge over her teammate right above her in the white cap in lane five and the rest of the field. Thomas has been fantastic for Navy. Sophomore from Fayetteville, Arkansas, named one of the unsung heroes for Navy by head coach John Morrison. Also swam last year on Navy's winning 800 free, 400 free, and the 400 medley team. So she has learned a lot in just a short amount of time in her career. Just a sophomore. Was named the conference rookie of the year a year ago. She holds a slight lead over her teammate in Aaron Scudder. 54.06, the first time clocked in here for Martina Thomas. So right now it's 1-2 for the mids, Thomas and Scudder. In lane four, Maddie Hardigan, the sophomore from Bucknell, in third place as it stands. Hardigan had the fastest time this year coming into the championship, but she was surpassed this morning in the preliminaries by the two mids out in front of her in Thomas and Scudder. Still looks like it's that order. Thomas, Scudder, and Hardigan right in the middle of your screen. Thomas having four different relatives attend Army. Joke said that there's a little bit of a uproar that she decided to go to Navy, but obviously a fantastic program and has been so dominant in the water. And right now putting on a dominating performance is Thomas out in front. Six laps to go here in the A final. This is to win a gold. Thomas trying to keep pace. Scudder above her and Hardigan above Scudder keeping pace stride for stride and closing in on those two in lane three. Sabrina Bumbaco, the freshman for the Bison of Bucknell. Thomas, though, still with good pace and separating herself a little bit. A lot of other swimmers very close, neck and neck, around the pool. But right now, all eyes on Martina Thomas, the sophomore for Navy, looking to win a gold medal here in the 500 freestyle. Hardigan pulling away now from Scudder in lane three. Check that lane four. There is Thomas, steady. Four laps to go, 3.13 into the race. Thomas finished with a 4.51.75 mark. That was second behind her teammate Aaron Scudder. Now, look at Hardigan catching up. In lane four with the orange cap. Stride for stride with Martina Thomas who has been leading this race from the jump. Now Hardigan looking like she may have a little ahead as she's moving forward for Bucknell. Three laps to go, now down to two. Hardigan finding extra gas here down the stretch. Two-time Patriot League individual medalist capturing gold in the 1650 freestyle, which is the longest event here during the championships. So she knows a thing or two about pacing. And right now, she has a slight edge over Martina Thomas in lane number six for Navy. This will be a two-swimmer race for gold. Hardigan for the Bison. Thomas for Navy. Off the final turn. This is going to be a finish here. Here comes Thomas. Thomas picking up her pace. Hardigan right with her. This will be a photo finish, and we'll see the results. And looks like Martina Thomas will take the gold. Martina Thomas outlasting Maddie Hardigan by 21 one hundredths of a second. What a fantastic finish by Thomas.
And what an effort by Hardigan, who really put the pressure on late. Here's a look at it again. Look how close. Tom is just touching the wall right before Hardigan. And those are your top two finishers. Meanwhile, in lane three, taking home the bronze, the freshman from Bucknell, Sabrina Vumbaco with a 4.50.18 score. So Navy and a pair of Bison will be on the podium for the 500-yard freestyle. And congratulations to Martina Thomas. Getting hugs from her teammates. Brian Waters, Luke Johnson with B-time NCAA qualifying times in the prelims. What do they have in store here for the finals? Winner of this takes home a gold. Off towards the first wall. And again, in the middle of the pool, your two favorites, Waters and Johnson from Navy. And those two leading the way right now. From a glance, it looks like Waters in lane five may have the slight advantage over Johnson. Waters really enjoys competing against non-league opponents, he said. He said taking on top 25 programs across the country really helps him compete and be able to become a better swimmer. And he knows how impressive his Navy teammates are, but to be able to see competition just as good, if not a little better across the country, has certainly helped them. Leading the way here at 48 seconds is Waters. And he's a second ahead of his pace from this morning. Johnson is in second place as well. And we have a handful of swimmers in the back. And this is what we expected. Based on the times, these two mid finish at 419. And then everybody else was a good seven to nine seconds behind them. And that looks to be the case here for the finals. Behind Johnson, excuse me, behind Waters is Johnson. Junior from Charlotte, North Carolina. First team all Patriot last year and has posted a pair of 4.00 GPA terms. So he has been able to do it both in the pool and in the classroom. Six laps to go here in the 500 freestyle championship for the men. Off towards the wall. And it's still Waters leading the way in the middle of your screen. Right below him, his teammate, Luke Johnson. And look at these two go. 205-69 for Ryan Waters. Waters still ahead of his pace from this morning. Both trying to get another B cut. And the PA announcer just mentioned if they keep this pace, they will both set a new meet record. Into the turn here with five laps to go, now down to four. Third place right now is Tyler Kim, the junior from Army. Right now, though, it is a two-swimmer race as we expected. There they are right there. Can Johnson make a move and surpass Waters? Waters looking to defend his gold medal that he won last year at the championships at Bucknell. Waters continuing to demolish his prelim swim earlier this morning. Now two and a half seconds ahead of that mark. Water so impressive off the wall. Two laps to go here in the men's 500 freestyle. Winner takes gold. A pair of mids swimming away with this competition easily as you see all the rest of the swimmers just heading towards the back wall. The two teammates heading into their final lap here. Waters, 359.45, Johnson at 352. That is the separation for these two teammates. It certainly will look to be a one-two finish for the mids with Waters 
trying to take gold, but Johnson now challenging his teammates down the final stretch. Not going to be enough as Waters takes home gold for the second consecutive year. Followed by his teammate in Luke Johnson, and now the battle of bronze, and it looks like it will go to the swimmer in lane seven, Tyler Kim, the junior of Army. So, what a finish, what a swim for both Ryan Waters and Luke Johnson. Waters defending his title at 4.17.01 and 4.18.15 for Johnson as you take a look at the final here. Yet again, qualifying for a beat cut time for the NCAA. Harrington the favorite here, right in the middle off the block. For gold in the 200 individual medley. Good start here for Harrington in the middle of your screen. Harrington. Very good for Navy. No relation to Navy's team captain, Kelly Harrington. Did not participate in the consolation last year and now has the best time here in the Patriot League in this event. Heading into the backstroke on the third lap here in the 200 IM. And they head off the back wall with Harrington leading the way. Harrington in the middle of your screen in lane five. Close to her, next to her is her teammate Ashley Bottiford. 55-11 coming in for Jamie Miller, the senior in lane eight. As we mentioned, four Navy mids participating in this race. Three of them all next to one another in Huffer, Bonneford, and Harrington. This has been close as you see the three white caps with the Navy N protruding out of the water. Look at how close this one is. Heading to the freestyle now. Off that turn. Out in front in lane six. Looks to be Maggie Wagnowski, who had a fantastic prelim, the junior from New York. Two-time first team Patriot League selection. Can she win gold? Harrington and Bonifer, the Navy mids, trying to surpass her. What a finish this will be. It comes down to the end. And winning it at an even two minutes in lane five, Sydney Harrington. Wow, how close was that? Harrington at an even two. In lane six, Maggie Wigowski at two minutes and 15 one hundredths of a second. And for bronze, in lane four, Ashley Bodiford, the other mid, at two minutes and 29 one hundredths of a second. Take another look. Wow. What an effort by Wingowski, but Sydney Harrington able to kick it into an extra gear and just reach out by a fingertip. So congratulations to Sydney Harrington. Another gold for Navy this evening and even two minutes for the sophomore. That was by far the closest race we've had this evening. Almost ready, and they're off. The Kendrick looking to defend his gold from a year ago. Flips off the first turn, trying to get some separation as he's in the middle of the pool. Got so much off that wall, he's the last to come up for the stroke. Right though, it's close between McKendrick Above him, Max Verhagen from Loyola, and below him, Micah O from Navy. Now we go to the backstroke. And pulling away down in lane seven is Matthew McGoey, the senior from Bucknell. McGoey from New Windsor, Maryland, coming home to swim. Last year made his second consecutive All-Patriot League second team. 
leading the Bison with 37 points. Trying to upset McKenrick. McKenrick from Army, the favorite and the defending gold medalist. Two laps to go. And this is going to be a close one. See in the bottom of your screen. Trying to pull away from McKenrick. And here comes a freestyle for a four-man race. For Hayen leading in lane four from Loyola, the freshman. Can he knock off McKenrick? Below McKenrick is Micah O of Navy. He's now turning on the Jets. McKenrick in danger of losing his title. McKenrick trying to get it off the wall, but he will not win gold. And instead, there will be a new gold medalist here in the 200 IM. And it goes to Micah O of Navy with a minute 45-38. Micah O putting on a show in the pool here for the 200 yard IM. A minute 45-38, good for gold for O. In lane four, it will be match for Hay and the freshman from Loyola at 145-96. And you see touching the wall third, the gold medalist a year ago, Brian McKenrick, who finished with a 146-16. A time better than his morning prelims, but have to tip your cap to Micah O and Max Verhaeen. What a finish for the junior O and the freshman Verhaeen. Navy has not faltered in its home pool. And the coaches told me earlier this week that it is so important to be in their home pool. They get the crowd behind them. They're familiar with the logistics of the day and it certainly has been paying dividends as Navy has been off to a great start. Another quick race here, just one turn for the 50 freestyle. Winner earns gold. The favorites in the middle of the pool, Peyton Miles in lane five, Sarah Sorensen in lane four. This is going to be a good finish. Look how close it all is. They all sprint to the wall and in lane nine, the winner for the 50 yard freestyle is Madison Berg, the junior. Wow. Berg with a 23.47 prelim time finishes at 22.91 and stuns the field. Madison Berg, the junior from Army. Let's take a look again. Bottom of your screen, and it was Berg who was able to just touch the wall, and she is an absolute joy. Sock looking to make it back-to-back -back golds for Army West Point. Junior in the middle of your screen with the black cap. Here it is on the turn, only one turn. This is by far the quickest race we will have. Zach trying to win gold, he is in the middle. He's got some competition below him in lane six by Jimmy Hayburn, and it's Hayburn who takes gold. 1999, your time in lane six. Jimmy Hayburn of Loyola, and he's ecstatic. Your 2020 gold medalist and Patriot League champion, Jimmy Hayburn wins it. Hayburn, the sophomore from Bowie, Maryland, taking home and taking down Josh Zock, the favorite, who finished at 20.09 for silver. And in lane seven, Navy gets another medal with Dean Wynn finishing at 20.21. Take a look at the start of this race. Of course, the quickest one we will have this week. 19 seconds for Jimmy Hayburn. We mentioned Zach was the only swimmer to reach under 20 seconds. Hayburn is a gold medalist winner, being congratulated by his teammates on the pool deck. Keep an eye in the middle with Navy and Bucknell. Navy at 340 with the quickest time. They start with the backstroke. 400 yard medley relay. The final event here tonight inside Lejeune Hall, the 
conclude day two of the championships. Navy in lane five, Bucknell in four, your top two teams. And it's close right now, and it looks like right now in lane three, says in Elegal, who has had a really good championship, is putting the Terriers out in front. Seven laps to go here in the 400. Top of your screen in the red cap is Elegal, right next to her in lane four, Emma Hadley. They wrap up the backstrokes here. Elegal trying to continue here for Boston University and get the Terriers off the block first in the second leg, and she does. 53-72, the leading time for the Terriers at the moment. Now the breaststroke. Boston trying to keep pace here. They are the three seed. Finished with a 347-84 time, but off to a splendid start. Now Boston U in lane three, in lane five, Navy with Emily Brockman, the sophomore. Army trying to keep it close as well. As Boston University trying to keep it here in the final turn for the breaststroke. The Terriers slowing down a little bit now as Navy pulling out in front. Army in the thick of things as well on the bottom of your screen. And Army now with the lead in lane number eight. Head to the butterfly with Whitney Chang, the junior, who has participated in a few events here for the Black Knights. Army in the bottom of your screen trying to continue, but here comes Navy. Navy with Sydney Harrington, a gold medal winner already today. Tenth of a second difference with Army and Navy. The rivalry continuing in the final event for the women here tonight. Harrington with it, off the turn, getting ready for the freestyle portion with almost two laps left to go. Chang putting in a good effort here for Navy. Navy and Army, the rivals, going into it. Navy now out in front for the freestyle. Martina Thomas, who has been fantastic, won gold earlier this evening. Can she win another for the mids? She's out in front in the middle of your screen. Everyone now tailing behind her. 50 yards to go, down and back one more time. And it's Martina Thomas leading the way. Thomas trying to win another gold here for the mids. Thomas off that final turn. Army behind her in Madison Berg who won the 50 freestyle gold. But tonight the 400 medley relay goes to Navy. Another gold for the mids coming in second place for silver is Army. And in third for the bronze will be Loyola. What a finish as Navy yet again takes another gold and the foursome of senior Jamie Miller and three sophomores Emily Brockman, Sydney Harrington and Martina Thomas take home the gold as you see Martina Thomas putting it on ice for Navy. Starts with the backstroke, goes to breast, butterfly and then the freestyle. And they're off. Going halfway across the pool before resurfacing. In the middle, it's Navy out in front, it appears, with sophomore Kayla Malden. Bottom of the screen, you have some good starts here as well, but Malden emerges quickly right in the center of your screen. The white cap for Malden as he heads back for his second lap. Malden. The sophomore and first leg. Trying to get Navy off to a good start. Alden with the backstroke, getting a lead here. Army looks like it's close in second. 
47.06 the time for Navy. Now it goes to the second leg, which is the breaststroke. For Navy, it's Dean Wynn, the junior. He's already touching the wall. Right in the middle of your screen in lane five. Above him in lane four, you have Evan Zhang, the sophomore. Navy off to a great start. A minute 18 here for Navy. They are flying. Look ahead at the lead. And right now, Dean Wynn has some room for error. The top of him is Army in lane four, but nobody is catching Navy and Dean Wynn at the moment. Navy looking to sweep the 400-yard medley here. The third leg goes in, and it's James Wilson for Navy. Loyola in third, behind Army in two. James Wilson in the pool for Navy, the Lancaster PA native, a senior. Our second team all Patriot League honors in 2017 and last year. Looking to continue his success here in the Patriot League championships. Navy still out in front. It's James Wilson looking to send the anchor, Dominic Wallace, into the pool with a hefty lead for the freestyle. Army in second, Loyola in third in the middle of your screen. And Navy running away with this freestyle. Here is Wallace. Wallace looking to end this one quickly. The computer science major from California. Named the Patriot League Academic Honor Roll last year. Reached a championship in three events in Bucknell. Navy looking to take gold. 309.84 for Navy. That is the pool record and the league record. Navy under it by a good margin. Can they set the record in route to gold? Wallace coming towards the wall and he touches it at 310.04. The gold secured, couldn't get the record, but another strong finish for the mids. Coming in second for silver is Army as Billy Weber finishes off strong for the Black Knights and taking home bronze in lane six, Loyola. Swimmers on the block. This is for a podium finish. Harrington with the favorite, also had a new meet record which stood since 2014 with that 52-92 B time earlier today. Last night she won gold in the 200 IM, so looking to make it another gold here in the butterfly. Right now she has a few competitions right now. Harrington so good at this event, ranked 19th in the entire country coming into this championship with a 52-12 mark. See where she finishes here in the championship final. Harrington leading the way in the middle. Young Ginger, her teammate on top, vying for a silver but slowing down a bit. Harrington clearing the way and she will take home gold. Harrington 52-69 for the 100 yard butterfly. Congratulations to Sydney Harrington for gold. And she gives Navy another gold medal. Getting an NCAA meet record as well. So she bested her prelim time, which is meet cut and a meet record. And she sets a new one here tonight. So congratulations to Sydney Harrington in lane five for Navy. Final time there. What a job by the sophomore. Still waiting here to get things going in the men's 100-yard butterfly. As Nick Hine, the final swimmer in lane nine, is announced. We are ready for the opportunity to see who will win gold here in 2020. Again, Malden in lane five, the favorite for Navy. 
middle of your screen as they head towards the first turn. Good start so far. Malden trying to keep his pace as he has Sung Lee on top and Dominic Wallace below him. James Wilson on good pace in lane three for Navy. Final turn heading to the stretch here for a podium finish for the men's 100 butterfly. Taylor Molden of Navy trying to separate himself in lane five and he does. 47-54 for Molden, he takes home gold. Coming in second for Silver, his counterpart Sung Lee from Loyola and taking home bronze in lane six, Dominic Wallace. So a pair of mids finishing in the top three and there is Molden congratulating his teammate Dominic Wallace. Alden takes the gold here in 2020. Let's take a look at who won last year for the men. As you see Malden here coming in with that finish. About an arm's length ahead of Sung Lee and Dominic Wallace. And here's the women's replay. Sydney Harrington of Navy taking home the gold for the mids. Here is the A final for the women 400 yard IM. Wangowski in the middle in the orange cap. Below her, Carlin Soares, the defending gold medalist. We mentioned all the underclassmen in this race. Last year, all the individual gold medals were handed to 10 freshmen, eight sophomores, nine juniors. Just three to seniors, all three going to the most decorated swimmer in Patriot League history, Lauren Barber of Navy. So we'll see if Soar can use her senior experience here to try and repeat as a gold medalist. Right now, though, she is trailing Kelly Huffer, the sophomore from Navy in lane seven, as you see Soar is there. There is Huffer in lane seven. Huffer from Phoenix, Arizona, took home the bronze in this event last year at the Patriot League Championship. So now looking to dethrone Soares and earn her gold. As the swimmers turn to the backstroke. Six laps to go here in the IM. Huffer still leading in the white cap. Just behind her, Maggie Wingowski and Carlin Soares. Soares in second, Wingowski in third as all three alternate turning off that wall. 129.87, the time off the wall for Kelly Huffer, the sophomore of Navy. Wingowski, who had the best time in lane five for Bucknell this morning. Two-time first-team All-Patriot and came in second with the silver last night in the 200-yard IM, losing out on goal by just 15 one-hundredths of a second. Obviously, double the length here. And we take a look at Wingowski. Four laps to go, Wingowski closing in, as is Soros on Kelly Huffer, who was leading for Navy in lane seven. Three swimmers right in the middle, and it looks like Wingowski now has taken a slight lead. Four laps to go. Top of your screen in lane three. The freshman LEDs for the mids also sticking around. Wingowski leading. Huffer now trailing into third as the defending gold medalist Carlin Soares in lane six as second. There's a look at your leader, Maggie Wingowski. Wingowski scored 47 points for the second straight year last year for the Bisons as she's really starting to extend her lead. Wingowski. 
2018 Rookie of the Meet at the Patriot League Championship. And she now has a half body lead, breaking into the freestyle. It's Wingowski for Bucknell. Carlin Soar chasing her below her, and Huffer in third for Navy. What a turn events here as Wingowski kept her pacing and now has turned it on. And look at the Bison teammates cheering her on. Final lap for Wingowski. This for the gold. It's two and a half body length ahead of Carlin Soros in second for Boston University. It appears we will have a new gold medalist in the 400 IM. And it looks to be Maggie Wingowski with no one near her. And Wingowski with a dominant performance puts a bow on it with the gold. Fans going nuts, teammates loving what they see. And the Bison get a gold in the 400 yard IM for the women. 4.15.26, the final time. Three full seconds better than her prelim time earlier this morning. Silver will go to Kelly Huffer. So we take a couple of looks at Wengowski's dominant performance. No one remotely close to her as she cruised in for the goal. So congratulations again to Maggie Wengowski. She takes home gold. Three freshmen in this race. Micah O and Luke Johnson, the pair of mids with B cut times this morning. They will be in the middle of the pool. Eight laps here in the 400 IM winner takes home the gold medal. And off the first turn, right in the middle, it's the favorite Micah O leading the way. They also have in lane four, Ethan Tack looking strong. And Tack may have surpassed O, and he has. Tack off to a fast start. The sophomore from Dix Hills, New York, placed sixth in this event last year, so now looking to medal. Ended up posting a career best time at 354.74 en route to earning first team All Patriot League honors. Micah O, though, now surpassing Tack as the two mids go back and forth. There is Micah O as we switch over to the back row. O won gold last night in the 200 yard IM. So now trying to win gold in an event doubled the length as you see him leading the way in the middle of your screen. Has earned academic honors from Navy in four semesters, including three times on the superintendent's list has a cumulative GPA of 4.00. Right now leading the way with Max Verhagen, the freshman from Loyola who has made a splash in this 2020 Patriot League Championships for the Greyhounds. Five laps to go and it's O leading the way in the backstroke. Having a good separation here. A body length or even a little bit more. As we head into the final four laps, lane eight for Hayen, vying for a silver at this point. Can he keep pace and perhaps track down Micah O? O has a brother that swam at Arizona and a sister that swam at Calvin College, so a trio of swimmers in the O family. O's off the wall again, well ahead of Verhagen in lane eight. Pushing a record is O, two seconds off the mark. He's about a and now a he's down to a second and a half, so he's picking up the pace. And he is well ahead of the competition with three laps to go, heading into the freestyle portion after touching this wall. The men's 400 IM final. Oh, touching the wall at 252.42. Three seconds faster than his prelim final. 
on pace to perhaps break the record. The league record, 347-12, set in 2017. A lap and a half to go for the Navy product, Micah O. Final lap here. Look at the separation. Everybody tailing him, looking at his feet. Silver might be in the hands of Reed Hussey, but the story right now, Micah O, well ahead of the pack and trying to break a record. O, heading to the final stretch. He takes the gold. 345-44 and a new league and meet record for Micah O. Congratulations to the junior of Navy. Micah O winning by more than two seconds and let's take another look. Complete dominance and a new league record by over a second for Micah O and he takes home gold. Luke Johnson, his teammate, takes silver, and Max Verhey and the freshman will settle for the bronze. Who won the 50 freestyle a year ago? This is the 200 freestyle, four laps in the pool. This is for the gold. Martina Thomas leading the way with a minute 48-27 earlier this morning and she is off to an early lead here. Right in the middle of your screen in the white cap. Her teammate in the lane above her and Aaron Scudder not too far off the pace. 24-62, Martina Thomas clocking in for the first lap. Thomas putting together a very impressive resume here at Navy. Said that she's a wide-eyed freshman last year, but now having a year under her belt this year has really helped her calm her down. One of the unsung heroes named by head coach John Morrison, but she might just be one of the heroes here in the 2020 Patriot League Championships. Final two laps to go here in the championship final for the 200-yard freestyle and Tom is starting to pull away from the competition. Aaron Scudder above her in the lane. Scudder, a senior from Western Springs, Illinois, won gold on Wednesday as part of the 800 freestyle. Came in third to earn bronze last year in this event. Final turn. Thomas, the sophomore, looking for another gold this week. She has almost a half body length distance in front of her teammate Aaron Scudder and it will be Martina Thomas the sophomore yet again 146 53 for gold her teammates rooting her on in between both pools and Martina Thomas with yet another gold this week coming in second for silver her teammate Aaron Scudder and in lane seven Maddie Hardigan from Bucknell, the sophomore, will earn bronze. Take a look again here at Martina Thomas winning gold in the 200-yard freestyle. Almost ended up with the full body length ahead of Scudder. So congratulations once more for Martina Thomas. You might be getting tired climbing up that top podium. 146.53 the time for Thomas, and once more. Army, Navy on tap for this one. This place will get loud for the 200 Freestyle Championship. You see all the representatives from the Army and Navy. Alternating Army, Navy at the bottom, then the two favorites, Waters and Cooks with the white caps in the middle. Two more Black Knights in lanes three and four, and Dunworth, the Navy mid in lane two atop your screen. 
There is Waters, the defending champion. Middle of the pool. Army, Navy, who do you have? Camera three. As Navy trying to win it here, and you have a pair of mids leading the way. And Ryan Waters and Daniel Cook. Cook, a junior from Virginia Beach, also part of that gold winning freestyle relay on Wednesday. Transfer from the University of Virginia, studying quantitative economics. Good look there at the mids going at it. Two laps to go, separated by five one hundreds. Our teammates Ryan Waters and Daniel Cook of Navy. The two posting the quickest times with Waters with the B cut. Waters. Leaves Navy has some of the best swimmers in the country, himself included. And this will be a fantastic finish between Waters and Cook. Navy mid starting to pull away from their rival Black Knights. And third, it appears to be Sean Dwyer, the freshman for the Army. In lane four, Graham Ungrady trying to sneak in for a bronze, but right now, it's Ryan Waters, the defending champion, making it a gold appearance again at 135.74. Missing a league record by 54 one hundredths of a second, but Ryan Waters certainly will take another gold as he defends his title. Waters takes home gold, Cook takes home silver, and Ungrady from Army takes home the bronze. So it won't be a clean sweep in the 200 freestyle champion, but two of the top three will go to the mids. Here's another look. Overhead shot here, and you can see Ryan Waters just out in front of his teammate Daniel Cook as the mids go 1-2 in the 200 freestyle competition. The favorite, Jillian Birch from Army, a freshman, will be in the middle. She also won this event at home during the quad meet on January 25th. Can she win gold in her Patriot League Championship debut? We'll see if we can get any closer tonight. Off the first turn, still pretty close to start. It looks like there's a little bit of leeway here with Loyola's senior Devin Cronin in lane six. Final 50 yards to go. Cronin leading the way at 29.03. Four tenths quicker than her morning swim. Above her, the favorite Jillian Birch, the freshman from Army. But right now, Devin Cronin leading in the final turn. The senior from Loyola, one of the top swimmers in this event in all of New England, trying to be the top swimmer in the Patriot League. This is going to be a close finish for gold, but it will go to Cronin. Devin Cronin takes home gold. In jubilation, hugs Jillian Birch, who will take home silver. And now she goes over and hugs her fellow Greyhound, Emma Scouten. Congratulations, Devin Cronin, 101.79. A B cut time for an A plus effort. There it is again, and Cronin takes home the gold. You, the senior from Loyola, ecstatic. See the emotion. Off the block. Winner brings home a gold. Evan Zhang, the defending champ, trying to make it two in a row. B cut time of 53.86, the best mark. He is in the middle of the pool. 
Tough to tell right now who's leading. They're so extremely close, all in the middle. Derek Nguyen in four, Evan Zeng in five, and Dean Nguyen in six. Heading into the final turn in the 100 breaststroke. Evan Zhang leading at 25-15. About 15 one hundredths of a second ahead. Down to the final stretch. For the goal, it's going to be close. And it looks to be Dean Wynn in lane six. Knocking off the defending champ Evan Zhang, who will have to settle for bronze as Dean Wynn takes home the gold at 53-66. Congratulations, your Patriot League champion. What a close finish near the end. Chris Bondarovic in lane seven for Navy takes home silver. And again, the defending champ Evan Zhang will have to settle for bronze as you take a look at it here. So congratulations to Dean Nguyen. And you see in lane six, great slow-mo shot here. Just able to win at 53-66. Ellie Gold, the favorite for Boston U in lane five with the red cap. The white cap with red trim. Switched it. Jamie Miller, the Naval Academy senior in lane six. And Ellie Gold off to a strong start in the middle of your screen. Off the first turn. And the Istanbul Turkish native trying to keep pace, but coming up from the water in lane four is Lauren Kerrig, the sophomore for the Black Knights, putting some pressure on the Terrier. Lauren Kerrig leading by nine one hundredths of a second. Heading into the final turn, lane three, you have Lauren Kerrig and Emma Hadley. Herrig, Ellie Gold now putting on the Jets, trying to take home gold. And Ellie Gold towards the wall, and she does. Turning on the Jets in the final stretch, and the Turkey native celebrates. The transfer from Alabama, who competed her first two years with the Crimson Tide, a gold medalist here in the 2020 Patriot League Championships and her teammates smile on. 53-98 your score and time for Cezan Eligal. Let's take a few looks at it. Able to turn on the Jets and hold off Lauren Carrig, who settles for the bronze at 54-25. Baldwin the favorite. He has been busy this week. As they head towards that back wall, Malden in lane five, looking for gold. Dominic Wallace in lane six. Top two finishers for the mids. And in currently first place, looks like it's Chris Mayer in lane four. We also have lane five, Kayla Malden, who is taking the lead. Malden off the back turn, final stretch here. Leading the way, looking for a gold. Another one for the midshipman is in hand. Caleb Malden, 47-27, takes home gold. And a beat cut time for Caleb Malden. Dominic Wallace takes silver. Meanwhile, in lane four, it was Chris Mayer for bronze. And take a look again at the three mids. So close, but Malden out in front by a little bit. And Navy sweeps the men's 100 backstroke finals here in the Patriot League Championships. So congratulations to Caleb Malden, who has been putting on a show as well here for the mids. Top two teams, Navy and Lehigh in the seed time. Final event for the women, the 200 yard freestyle relay. 
Bottom screen in lane number nine, Holy Cross looking off to a good start. Lane number two, you have American University starting off strong, but it's all how you finish. First leg complete, 23.05, leading time in lane eight for Loyola. Three laps down, final turn here. In lane six, Lehigh University. The Mountain Hawks, halfway home leading. There goes the third Mountain Hawk. Evie Geisman, the junior. Lane six, Mountain Hawks starting to separate themselves here. Final turn in the third leg. Lehigh University in lane six leading Navy. Looks like they're in second with Katie Corby. Final leg of the 200 yard freestyle. Lehigh and Navy now neck and neck with Navy perhaps with a slight edge with sophomore Sarah Sorensen, the anchor. It's Sorensen for Navy. Giapetro for Lehigh. This will be a close finish for the gold of the 200 yard freestyle and it goes to Navy. The mids hold on for the gold. Lehigh Mountain Hawks giving the mids all they can handle for silver. Waiting for confirmation, but the unofficial time, Navy 131-12. Good for gold with the foursome of Martina Thomas, Kelly Harrington, freshman Katie Corby, and sophomore Sarah Sorensen. As they embrace one another, let's take a look at it with a couple angles. Lehigh really gave Navy a run for it, leading for majority of the race, and then the anchor for Navy, Sarah Sorensen closing the gap. Up and down for one lap, four times, four different swimmers. Off the turn, and it's close. Navy trying to lead with Daniel Cook, but in lane seven, it's Army's Josh Zock, 1981, leading it, the only team to clock in with a 19 split. Lane seven for military. Lane five, you have Chris Mayer, the senior for Navy. Graham Ungrady, the junior, trying to keep pace for the Black Knights. 39-90, Army still ahead, looking to repeat as gold. Billy Weber, the junior, now in the pool for the third leg for the Black Knights off the wall. Navy's Matthew Fidel trying to make it close. Loyola's Reed Hussey stride for stride as well. The final anchors dive in. Navy still leading. Dean Wynn. The junior looking to take it. Now in lane six is Loyola's Sun Lee. It's going to be a photo finish for the gold. Wow. Navy sneaks in and wins the gold. Dean win in lane five. The Thrones rival Army and takes home the gold at 119.83 unofficial. Second place in lane seven, Army at 119.89. So just a difference of six one hundredths of a second. Loyola making a run for it as well. And let's take a look again. How close was this finish? There was Loyola's anchor, Lee Sung. Tried his best, but you see the finish right here. Navy's anchor. Dean Wynn just in front of Hogan Harper of the Black Knights. Still waiting for the official time. And it is official. Navy winning at 119.83. Thirty-three total laps here. Inside the pool, the 25 yard competition pool here in Lejeune Hall. 
Mention Hardigan with the best time at 16.36.44. Bumbaco, her freshman teammate, a little slower by about two seconds. And then Abby Merriman, another Bucknell Bison, a little off the pace there at 16.58.67. So it's expected to be the two Bison in the middle of your screen for this long race. Hardigan in five, Bumbaco in six. And as you see, the middle of the lanes pretty much stroke for stroke right now. Handful of Bison in this competition. The class breakdown, three seniors, a pair of juniors, three sophomores, and two freshmen. And of course, you see a lot of orange caps, five Bucknell Bison. So we'll break down some of the stories here of these swimmers, starting in lane one with Tori Connolly. Connolly, a senior from Lehigh, from Allentown, Pennsylvania, majoring in accounting and finance. Finished fifth in this event last year at the Patriot League Championship, which was an improvement from 2018 when she finished with an 11th place spot. 2019 Mountain Hawks most improved swimmer and also getting it done in the classroom. Three-time academic honor roll. Said that she chose Lehigh because it was a school that offered both academic and athletic challenges while allowing her to become integrated with a unique and diverse group of people. And she said that she really enjoys the rivalry between Crosstown Lafayette, the Leopards and Mountain Hawks have a meet every year and for Connolly, she said that she takes great pride in continuing that rival tradition and also showing the underclassmen what it's about. She's in lane one, as you see the Bison leading the herd. 28 laps to go in lane six, it's the freshman Sabrina Vumbaco leading the way. Baco with almost a half body length on her teammate, Maddie Hardigan, the favorite, who won this event a year ago. Take a look at Emily Gorham, one of those five bides in participating in this race. Junior from Chatham, New Jersey, majoring in markets, innovation, and design. Her sister Jess swims at Vermont, and she really looked up to her older sister Jess. Growing up, said she couldn't wait to swim for the Chatham Cougars, and when she was younger, she would be in the stands rooting on her sister Jess, and said now that she looked up to her sister and finally was able to join that very impressive Chatham Cougars team in Jersey, and she finished out her high school career helping the Cougars win a historic nine straight team titles. She is one of the leaders of the Bison, as you see her with good pacing in this mile-long swim. Gorham in lane three, third from the top. Some of the swimmers starting to drift, as you can see, but right now in lane six, the freshman Sabrina Vumbaco still looking strong. Mbako looking good here. 33 laps in total inside the 25 yard competition pool. And we have 25 to go. Mbako still there. In second below her is the Navy product and senior Aaron Scudder. Scudder's seed time in this event this year 17.07.71. There is our leader, Sabrina Vumbaco. The freshman has gone off to a good start here in her young Bison career. Named the Patriot League Female Swimmer of the Week back on February 4th after placing first in this event at the Navy Invite with a time of 16.38.65. And that is her seed time that got her in the sixth lane and the second best mark of the top 10 swimmers in the mile swim. Went to Bucknell because of the great coaching staff, Sabrina said. The team, the commitment, 
an academic reputation. Said on her visit, she was welcomed with open arms by both the coaching staff and team and immediately knew that she wanted to be a Bison. And right now, she is trying to win this timed 1650 freestyle. She is in lane six towards the middle of your screen, leading the way. There is Abby Merriman, one of the other five senior Bucknell representatives in this race. Merriman majoring in neuroscience from Falston, Maryland. Has scored 56 total points in Patriot League Championship action and owns Bucknell's fourth fastest 1,000 freestyle and the 1650, which she's currently competing in. She has been very active off campus, has helped raise funds and awareness for an organization called Community Zone, a local nonprofit located near the campus of Bucknell, focusing on organization and individual empowerment as well as community outreach. It's part of her community psychology class, and Merriman and a group of students took it upon themselves to inform the community about the project, along with fellow teammate Paige Shellkopf, who we've seen in a few events. They conduct surveys and make sure the citizens who live in that college town in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, all year round, have a voice. And Merriman said that she just wants to make sure that everybody's enjoying the beautiful town of Lewisburg and to help make a change for the better. And that's really impressive by the senior, Abby Merriman. She's in lane four and in third place currently. Trying to catch up as they hit the wall towards the back of the pool with 19 laps to go. Bumbaco still leading the way, but below her is Aaron Scudder starting to make a move in lane seven. Scudder touching the block at 7.29.06, less than a half second slower than Bumbaco at 7.28.92. The trio in the middle staying relatively close to one another. And this is just war of attrition. Mentally, you have to be so strong. Of course, the physical components, as you see the three almost at the identical mark off that wall. And now Scudder from Navy taking the lead for the first time in this race. Scudder, a senior from Western Springs, Illinois has been busy this week, won gold in the 800 yard free relay, silver in the 200 freestyle. Chose Navy because she wanted to serve the country and challenge herself and others. Well, she is right there, swimming well. Said that being a member of the swim and dive team has taught her what it means to meet more than just a team. Her teammates have become family. She has been one of the top swimmers for Navy and she was recognized before the meet during that senior celebration. Studying mathematics and economics. Father was a member of the golf team at St. Joseph, so another Division I athlete in the Scudder household. 15 laps to go for the front runner. Scudder in the white cap in lane seven. And the pair of Bison, Vumbaco and Hardigan above Scudder in lane six and five, respectively. Nearing the nine and a half minute mark here inside Lejeune Hall. Again, this is a mile in the water. 1,650 yards. And you might say, well, that doesn't technically equate to a mile, but there is a difference in a mile from running and biking and walking to actually being in the water. And driving, yes, driving of course. Some programs driving many miles to come down to Annapolis here for the Patriot League Championships. But a little fun fact, a mile on the ground equivalent to 1,760 yards, but in swimming, as we mentioned, it's 1,650. 
That is because the United States, only one of three countries still that use imperial units of measurement, including the mile. Everywhere else in the world is metric. So for these swimmers competing in a pool that's measured in yards like the one here in Lejeune Hall, the 1650 mark in yards, which is just under 1,509 meters, the closest thing to the Olympic metric mile. There is Scudder leading the way, almost lapping the swimmer below her and Kristen Gullickson in lane eight, the freshman from Army. So it might be tough to keep track, but Scudder is in the lead in the white cap in lane seven. And in lane five is the defending champion, Maddie Hardigan, who has now kicked it into an extra gear as the freshman, Sabrina Vumbaco, who was off to a splendid start, has slowed down the pace. Hardigan and Scudder almost hitting that back wall simultaneously. 11 laps to go here in the mile race. Nearing the 11 and a half minute mark. And it's Scudder at 11.29.92, just out in front of Hardigan at 11.30.15. There's a look at the senior from Navy. The two turn into the wall. Again, almost entirely at the same time as we head into single digits after they touch the block wall. Two swimmer race at the moment as Lumbaco, the freshman, trailing in third. So close between these two. A sophomore in Maddie Hardigan, won it as a freshman a year ago, trying to knock down Aaron Scudder, the experienced senior from Navy. Scudder had a trio of top three finishes in individual events last year. She took home silver in this event, losing to her competitor here once more in Hardigan. I'm sure Aaron Scudder has that in the back of her mind, as it appears Hardigan now has taken the slight lead. Eight laps to go. A lot goes into completing this as a whole, but trying to win it against other swimmers. Win to exert more energy, win to save it, but continue to keep pace. And right now, Maddie Hardigan is starting to pull away a little bit more in lane five from Aaron Scudder. A couple laps ago, the two were hitting that back wall at the same moment almost. Now, as you get a good look here, Hardigan in the orange cap for Bucknell, taking a little bit of an advantage over Scudder. Six laps to go in the mile. Scudder now starting to try and pick up the pace. This should be a good finish no matter who comes in first and second, but it appears that last year's top finishers, Hardigan for the gold last year trying to defend, Scudder with the silver last year trying to dethrone Hardigan. Six tenths of a second here separating these two. Hardigan still holding a slight lead. Hardigan leading here. Scudder trying to maintain it as we go to the fourth lap to go here in the 1650 freestyle. The crowd getting into it. The Bison near the right side of the pool, cheering on Matty Hardigan. The mids off the lower left corner of the pool, looking on, rooting for Scudder. And it's Aaron Scudder, the senior, retaking the lead. Heading into the third lap to go. 33 laps in total, and we're down to the final three, and there are the mids. The mids 
loving what they're seeing from their senior. Scudder now with a larger advantage than she had earlier in the race. Almost by a full body's length if she keeps this pace up. Hardigan slowing down so hard to complete this race and Scudder with two laps to go to try and win gold. Does last year's performance kick in now with the final two laps to try and knock off the defending gold medalist Maddie Hardigan as Scudder lost to her and settled for silver. What a performance by Scudder and she heads into the final lap with a full body and a half length lead. Scudder kicking it into an extra gear. So impressive. And she is heading down to the final stretch. Hardigan needs to find something. Scudder may have built too large of a lead. Heading into the wall, and it's Aaron Scudder for the gold. The Navy mid knocks off the defending champion, Maddie Hardigan, and the two flip-flop on the podium. Scudder gold, Hardigan silver. Lane six, the freshman Sabrina Vumbaco will get bronze as the rest of the field finishes up the mile race. But what an effort by Aaron Scudder. You see at the bottom of your screen, the mids and her teammates ecstatic for the senior. I have a couple of swimmers left to go here. In lane eight, Kristen Gullickson. Wrapping it up here for the women's 1650 freestyle. And there is Scudder. There is the final swimmer in Kristen Gullickson, the freshman from Army. But there is your winner. Gold goes to Aaron Scudder with a time of 16.28.26. Crushing her previous time set earlier this year at 17.27.71. What a performance by the senior, Aaron Scudder from Western Springs, Illinois. 33 laps here inside Lejeune Hall. Men's best time, Johnson at 15.26.91, just under two seconds quicker than the freshman Ford Blaylock in lane six. Ryan Waters with the third best time at 15.42, so a bit of a big gap there. We saw that in the women's side. Hardigan and Vumbaco with the better times, but then Aaron Scudder at 17.07 shattered that mark, finishing just under 16 and a half minutes to take gold for Navy. So the men just underway here in the 1650 freestyle. Keep an eye in the middle of your screen. Ryan Waters in lane four, Luke Johnson lane five, Ford Blaylock in lane six. Touching first at 51.36 is Luke Johnson. Johnson a Navy junior from Charlotte, North Carolina. His sister Reagan, a freshman on the women's team. And just cheering on her teammate Aaron Scudder on her way to a gold medal. Johnson off to a good start. As this race progresses, we will get into some different storylines. Of course, everybody has a story. These phenomenal student athletes, no exception. As it's the two mids, neck and neck right now, in lanes four and five, Ryan Waters and Luke Johnson, a pair of juniors. Still relatively close, but the mids pulling away here a little bit as you see the rest of the pack trailing here with 29 laps remaining. Well, we mentioned Luke Johnson, his sister on the team. 
Attended the same high school as his parents, following in his dad's footsteps. His dad swam collegially at North Carolina State. And he started at an early age. He is in lane five. The favorite here to win the mile race. Said that he tried to play a lot of different sports, including soccer, basketball, football, and baseball. But every summer he found himself in a pool. And by the age of 10, he shifted his focus solely on swimming. And boy, has it paid off. Continue to swim in high school and talk about the work ethic of Johnson. He would get up and practice before he went to class from 5 to 6.30 in the morning, two days a week, and then going directly to the pool after school. All that said and done, he also was second in his class out of 658 students. So a well-rounded student athlete, Luke Johnson in lane five with a slight lead over his teammate Ryan Waters. The two mids still rather close, the slight edge to the favorite Johnson. His teammate Ryan Waters, a junior from Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Part of the gold winning 800 free relay on day one while earning an individual gold Thursday night in the 500 freestyle and posted a B-cut time in the prelims. First team all Patriot League honors in the last two years looking to make it three to wrap up his junior campaign. Ryan Waters and Luke Johnson, neck and neck still with 24 to go. Lane two, Mitch Gavers right there, the junior from Bucknell. Gavers from, with the Bison from Barrington, Illinois, a computer science and engineering major, making his third straight Patriot League championship appearance. Last year he scored 16 points, coming in sixth place in this event. First year in the championships, he had a fourth place finish in the mile. That was his best mark and good for the third fastest time in the mile in Bison history. Played water polo in high school as well and said the two sports, although both in the water, totally different dynamics. With water polo, obviously you're playing with other teammates and it's a team sport. And swimming, it's a lot on yourself trying to improve. And he said the amount of work you put it in ultimately shows. And he has been a fantastic swimmer for the Bison, has had to deal with some hardships. His mom Susie passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2016. And the Barrington Swim Club renamed its annual Mustang Classic the Susie Garver's Memorial Meet. He is in lane number two is Gavers. The junior from Bucknell trying to make some leeway here as it's the two mids controlling this race, heading into 20 laps to go. There is Luke Johnson, who we spoke about. Ryan Waters, the junior, just behind him in lane four. Waters believes that Navy has some of the best distance swimmers in the country including himself. He said, it doesn't matter how tough you are, if you don't mentally prepare in this sport, you will struggle. And this, by far, the race you must prepare for mentally the most. Waters right there trying to keep pace with Luke Johnson. We saw Aaron Scudder from Navy take home gold earlier in the mile race on the women's side. And now the mids trying to do the same here. Take a look at Tommy Haggerty in lane seven. Boston U senior from Glenview, Illinois, an advertising major. Owns the school record for the 1,000 free. And last year in this event had a time of 15.38.46, which was good for seventh. His sophomore year came in sixth, but his best finish was his freshman year when he finished within the top five with a fourth place spot 
with 15-38-44. Also a fellow water polo player in high school. That is Tommy Haggerty in lane seven. A senior from Illinois who had his best time as a freshman and continues to partake in this race three years later. Lane four and five, all eyes on them. Ryan Waters, Luke Johnson near the halfway point. Waters and Johnson trying to keep going. Johnson at 7, 38, 74. And in lane six, Ford Blaylock at 7, 33, 44. Impressive stuff. And the swimmers currently on pace to break the meet in league record of 1458.72, set by fellow mid Eric Hunter way back in 2009. So we perhaps can see history here in the second event of the final day of the Patriot League Championships. The freshman Blaylock starting to pull away the native of Texas, the Army Black Knight. He is in lane six, finished with a 15-28-35 time earlier this year. Tracking him down, Luke Johnson, the junior from Navy, who came in as the favorite. 14 laps to go. And there is Luke's supporters, some family members on the railing. Cheering on Luke who has had a very successful 2020 Patriot League Championship. Johnson at 8.59.46. Under 1,000 yards to go and under nine minutes as he surpassed Blaylock on that last lap. So Johnson in lane five, kicking it into an extra gear, now having a more than two bodies lengths lead over Blaylock. See the rest of the swimmers as Johnson continues to just steadily cruise through these laps with 12 to go. This is getting interesting for Johnson. Not only is this a timed event among the 10 swimmers, but also trying to go against some of the best swimmers in the country. The top 50 times, if Luke can get into it, he would need a time better than 15, 16, 92. Held by a pair of swimmers from Georgia and Notre Dame. 10 laps remaining here in the mile swim for the men. And the story, Luke Johnson trying to earn and break a new meet and league record and also finish in the top 50 in the NCAA. There it is on your screen, the meet record set back in 2009. And Johnson continuing to try and keep this record pace. Single digit laps remaining. Luke Johnson. Swimming since the age of 10 when he realized that's all he wanted to do. Trying to follow in his dad's footsteps who swam at North Carolina State in Johnson's home state. A chemistry major has one more year left with the academy. How sweet would it be though for Luke to finish off this championship weekend with a gold and the longest race of the week and also have a record broken and perhaps finish in the top 50 in the entire country. 11.39.02, the last time he touched the wall. You can see Johnson, everybody trailing him, or he's already lapped a few swimmers. 
So impressive as the mids look to sweep the 1650 freestyle event. And look at that, he is the only swimmer on the current lap going up towards that back wall. The other two swimmers behind him are lapped by Johnson. Heading into the final five laps. Johnson trying to etch his name into the record books. Crowd continuing to cheer, and as we get closer to the final two, this place could burst. Johnson with friends and family in attendance. Would love to see him make history here in his home pool. Seems like he has not wavered at all. Just so steady. His strides and strokes seem to be the same since he took the leap into the water about 13 minutes ago. Johnson still on good pace. Take a look at the coaching staff for the mids. Johnson looking to win. Bill Roberts in his 17th season, 20th overall from Navy. 10-time Patriot League Coach of the Year cheering for his swimmer. Roberts and John Morrison of the women's team has done an exceptional job with Navy as Johnson has two laps to go. 13.59.07, his last touched wall. Again, to crack the top 50, he has to finish at at least 15.16.92. Can he pick up the pace a little bit and ensure that mark? The bell sounding off to let Luke know he's on his final lap. 14 and a half minutes. He is looking to set records and become one of the top 50 swimmers in this event in the entire country. He comes down the final stretch of the final lap. The crowd cheering. And Luke Johnson wins gold at 14.52.11 and finds himself in the top 50 in the country. Luke Johnson, his family watching on, cheering for him. And Luke Johnson with a performance for the ages here in Lejeune Hall. 14.52.11, blinking on the scoreboard as he has set a new meet and league record which has stood since 2009, knocking off fellow midshipman Eric Hunter and everybody else continuing to trickle in as it is Luke Johnson cracking the top 50 with a time of 14.52.11. There are the two teammates. Three mids right smack dab in the middle. Jamie Miller in the middle looking to repeat as gold. Four laps in total here in the 200 yard backstroke. It's close off the first turn to begin the race, but Miller as you can see starting to cruise along in lane five. Miller from Rochester Hill, honors operations research major, said being on the mid swim and dive team has been one of the greatest highlights from her time at the academy and brought her some of her closest friends. And she is certainly excited to join the fleet in a few short months upon graduation. But first she has a gold medal to defend as we're halfway home here in the finals of the women's 200 backstroke. It's Miller ahead of her pace from this morning. Her teammate below her, Ashley Bodiford, trying to vie for silver. 
There they are, swimming alongside one another. And you can just see Miller separating from the rest of the pack, including her two teammates on both sides of her. Miller into the final lap first with a time of 124.80. Jamie Miller with a healthy lead in lane five heading into the final turn. Look at the distance she's created. No one in the screen with her. And Jamie Miller trying to hold off Botterford coming in with the late charge and she does to win consecutive gold medals in the women's 200 backstroke. 155-22, the winning time for Miller. Earning silver, her teammate Ashley Bonnerford, and the bronze goes to freshman Ellie Dees of Navy. As Jamie Miller is embraced by teammate Ashley Bonnerford. Let's take a look again. Off the block, and there goes Miller into the turn. Had a really good lead. Bonnerford made it interesting for a split second, but obviously Miller just too quick and she takes home a gold and defends her title. So congratulations once again to the senior as we move on to the men's 200 yard backstroke. There it is again, Jamie Miller embraced by her teammates with that winning time of under two minutes in the backstroke. Swimmers ready. There they go. Wallace in the middle in lane five, trying to take home the gold and knock out his teammate Caleb Malden who won it as a freshman a year ago. And there is Wallace right there heading into lap number two after this turn. Looking. Right now, Wallace in lane five, and in lane seven, your winner from last year, Caleb Malden. Of course, he knows a thing or two about winning this race. Malden trying to repeat. The two mids leading the way, and everybody else trying to catch up. Wallace and Malden almost identical off the wall. Wallace at 50-30. Malden at 50-55, and there's a good look at the two leaders. Just a two-tenths of a second differential. Now Wallace with a little bit of a lead, heading into lap three. Malden trying to pick up the pace, heading into that turn wall. Wallace there. Looking good and starting to get more separation. Heading into that final turn. Wallace trying to best his efforts from last year, improve to silver, to gold. And Wallace will do it. Congratulations to Dominic Wallace. Coaches and teammates looking on as the mids take gold and silver here in the 200 yard backstroke. Winning time, 142.88 for Wallace. Uh, Wallace catching his break. Just a smidge slower than his B cut time earlier this morning, but nonetheless gets the job done, earning gold. Meanwhile, his teammate, Caleb Malden, the defending champion will have to settle for silver. And the bronze will go to Billy Cadigan in lane four. Take a look again. As all three mids take a medal here in the 200 yard backstroke. Up, down, up, and back down again for 100 yards here in the freestyle. Again, top time finisher earlier today, Peyton Miles, the senior from Lehigh in lane five, defending champion Martina Thomas in lane six from Navy. 
It looks right now as it's Peyton Miles leading the way in lane five at 23.72, just ahead of the defending gold medalist, Martina Thomas, a sophomore, at 23.98. Peyton Miles trying to hold on and knock off Martina Thomas. Miles being cheered on by her Mountain Hawk teammates. This is going to be a finish. Here comes Martina Thomas, and Thomas heading into the final wall, and she sneaks away, defending her gold. 49-69 the time, and another gold medal for the sophomore Martina Thomas of Navy. Gives a hug to Madison Berg, also a medalist this week. And take a look at that final surge by the sophomore Martina Thomas. And she is able to just sneak past Peyton Miles, who was really in good position to try and earn gold in the race. But it goes to Martina Thomas, defending her gold from her freshman year in the same race, and make it Five gold medals for the sophomore, and she is all smiles. Billy Weber again in lane five with your best prelim score this morning of 44-29, right in the middle of your screen. Close off that first turn wall. Weber battling with Daniel Cook in four and Glenn Lasko in six below him. Nate Hine again on the bottom of your screen. The gold medalist a year ago. Hine looking like he possibly might have the lead, trying to race Billy Weber in lane five. Hard for Hine to see where Weber is in the middle of that pool. We head to the final stretch, and it will be lane five, Billy Weber. By a hair, Weber taking gold. The junior from Army knocking off Nate Hine, the senior. 44-20 the time, silver time for Hine, 44-30. 10 one hundredths of a second difference. Take a look again. There is Billy Weber, the junior. And the top finisher this morning, earning the gold here in the 100-yard freestyle event. And that was a close race as well, as many have been here tonight. Take a look, Hine in your bottom right corner, trying to earn gold but just could not. And there is Billy Weber, all smiles for Army. Good look at the competition. Fun atmosphere here inside Lejeune Hall. Can fit about a thousand people seated comfortably in the seating area above the competition pool. The rest of the teams, as you may see in the bottom and top, standing on each side of the pool deck. And we're underway here to win a medal in the 200 yard breaststroke. Lane six, early lead is Emma Scouten, the junior from Loyola. Scouten racing against her teammate Devin Cronin. There is Emma Scouten. Scouten has been busy this week for the Greyhounds. The Lidditz, Pennsylvania native, a junior. Has her family in attendance. Not a terribly long drive for the Keystone native. There's her teammate, fellow Greyhound in this race, Devin Cronin, who won the 100-yard gold last night, as we mentioned. Off the turn wall here, heading in towards lap number three here in the 200-yard breaststroke. Scouting still leading. 103-94 for Scouting leading the way. Scoutland finished third in the 100-yard breaststroke last night to take a bronze, looking to earn gold here in the 200. Off that back turn wall. 
Has some competition though in lane at number three with Jillian Birch, the freshman from Army who had a 2.17.73 time. Trying to keep pace with Scouten. Scouten into the final lap, 138.74 with a half body length lead over Birch atop your screen in lane three. Off the final turn, Scouten trying to keep pace. You see above, Birch now making a move. This is going to be close. Birch might have the advantage heading into the final 15. Scouten retaking the lead and it will go though to Birch in lane three and an incredible race by the freshman who takes home the gold. 2.14.30. 2.14.37 for M. Scouten. And the gold goes to the freshman Birch by seven one hundredths of a second. Wow. Jillian Birch, take another look. Off that final turn, it was a seesaw event. Looked like Scouten may have had it right there, and then Birch reaching out and getting it by seven one hundredths of a second. And the freshman from New York and West Point product takes home gold in the 200 yard breaststroke. Rosang in the middle with the Army cap. At lane six, Bondarovich in five. Your leading time this morning and favorite, perhaps, to try and knock off Zhang. They all come up for air, heading towards that back wall in the first lap. It's close early with Zhang and Bondarovich in the middle of your screen. Lane four as well. Dean Wynn, the junior from Navy, also has been good. There's a look at Zhang, your defending champion. Off the turn and heading into lap two. Bondarovich also been busy for Navy, who hasn't really for the mids, as the men's team looking to earn its 17th straight Patriot League championship title. They have won every year since joining the Patriot League in the 2003-2004 season. Halfway home and it is close. In lane number four, though, it's Dean Wynn leading the way at 55-48. Look at those three go. Wynn in four, Bondarovich in five for the mids. Zhang, the gold medalist a year ago in lane six. Trying to make a move for Zhang, and he just did. Getting a little bit closer to the leader, Dean Wynn. Zhang now touching the wall first at 125-25. Zhang now putting it into an extra gear, heading into the final lap. Zhang in six, Bondarovich in five, Nguyen in four, and the final turn. Army Navy, the rivalry continues, and Army's Black Knight and Zhang looking to earn gold for the second straight year in the 200 breaststroke. And Zhang does it. 155-80, and the Black Knight earns his second consecutive gold and the 200-yard backstroke. Silver going to Chris Bondarovich in lane five with a 156-21 mark. Both swimmers posting beat cut final times. And the bronze will go to Dean Wynn, the junior who finish at 157.73, also good for NCAA time consideration. And there it is, Evan Zhang, your champ. And Zhang making his rounds to congratulate his fellow swimmers. And Zhang, the Flushing, New York native, earns a gold for the Black Knights on the final night of competition. This morning, 
Out of the water, Sydney Harrington in lead five, leading the way, and you could just see how quick she's able to move through the fly. She has been fantastic here in the country. 156.39, the B-cut time for Harrington earlier this morning. And she is already almost a full body length lead in front of her teammate Kelly Huffer, the sophomore from Navy. Sydney Harrington looking to take the gold as you see her just leading the charge. Harrington, a sophomore from Fairfax, Virginia, a physics major here at the academy. Last year earned second team all Patriot League honors. Placed second in both butterfly events and here looking to take the gold in the women's 200. Halfway home and Sydney Harrington pulling further and further away. 50 yards remaining, Sydney Harrington, top 10 in the country. Harrington won the 100 yard butterfly last night, trying to make it a victory in the 200 yard tonight. Off the final turn wall, and you can see the gap. It is not even close. Sydney Harrington dominating the women's 200 butterfly and she takes home gold with a time of 155-24. A new meet record for Sydney Harrington, knocking off her teammate Delaney Walls, as we mentioned, the meet record holder earlier. And she takes home gold and improving on her own record. What a performance by Sydney Harrington. So Harrington also improving on her B cut time from this morning, takes home the gold. Her teammate Delaney Walls will have to settle for silver as we take a look again. And it was just the Sydney Harrington show. Really impressive as she has really improved in this competition. Walls was the gold medal finalist last year. And you see Walls well behind Harrington in that shot. So congratulations to Harrington. Enjoys a big hug from her teammate. Another gold medal heading towards Navy. Final individual race, the championship final, the men's 200 butterfly. Micah O oh, leading the way in lane five with the time earlier this morning. Oh, in lane five there, but having a tough time to overtake James Bilbray, the Black Knight in lane number six. Bilbray at 2360, nine one hundredths of a second quicker than the favorite Micah O, oh, and there's a good look at Bill Bray. Bill Bray has been busy as well for the Black Knights, one of Army's strongest swimmers as we hit the halfway mark here in the 200 yard butterfly. Micah O oh, making up the difference though against Bill Bray. 49.99 on that wall, 50.18 for Bill Bray. Sung Lee at 50-60, very close to top of your screen from Loyola for third. Bill Bray, the junior for the Black Knights. Trying to surpass Micah O oh in the final 50 yards. O oh at 117-10, three tenths of a lead over Bill Bray in lane six below him. Lane four also keeping it close with Ethan Tack. And this is going to be a close race between the three right in the middle with Micah O oh looking to defend his title and gaining ground. The final touch, Michael O oh with the gold.
defending his title from a year ago with a time of 149.97. And he earns another B cut time here to earn the gold medal in the 200 yard butterfly race. Ethan Tack will take home silver for Navy as we take another look. Micah O and James Bilbray, who ended up in third for bronze. You can see stride for stride heading into that final wall. And then what a push off there by Micah O. And then he was able to just kick it into that fifth gear and take home gold for Navy. The two mids embrace in lanes four and five, Tack and O. And the two get out of the pool together with Micah O earning yet another gold. The 400 yard freestyle relay, the final event here in the 2020 Patriot League Championships. Your favorites, Navy in lane five, Boston U in six. Ali Kozlina and Kara Lidzinski swimming the first leg respectively for each program. And in lane four right now, it's the Army. Madison Berg, the junior, leading it for the time being. Eight total laps here in the 400 freestyle. Off of the turn, heading into lap number two, and it's Army with Madison Berg leading the way in four. But down in lane seven, Lehigh University's Ann Foley, a strong swimmer as well, trying to keep pace. Off to a good start in lanes four and seven. Army and Lehigh. Second leg swimmers ready to go and Lehigh leaps in first with a time of 50.07. Lehigh trying to hold on to the slim margin that they have built with Ann Foley. Have their team captain in the wings and the anchor in Peyton Miles. It may come down to her. Lane five though, Navy coming in strong with Sarah Sorensen, the sophomore. Lane seven, Lehigh. Megan Judge, the freshman, not swimming like one right now as she has gotten the Mountain Hawks within striking distance. Army, Navy, Lehigh, four, five, seven, your leaders. Navy into the pool first for the leg number three, senior Aaron Scudder, who won the 1650 freestyle to get our night going in lane five. Right behind her, above her, for the military, sophomore Lauren Carrick, who has been participating in a handful of events this week. Three laps to go. Navy and Lehigh now jockeying back and forth. Navy in lane five, Lehigh in lane seven with junior Olivia Giampietro. She's in the black cap. Navy hits that wall with Aaron Scudder and now it's the old time rivalry, Army and Navy with Lauren Kerrig closing in for the sophomore of Army. And Navy leaps in again for the final leg. Martina Thomas the sophomore. Can she make it six golds that she's been a part of or has won? As the mids try to pull away above in lane four, Nicole Perry, the senior for Army. You see, Thomas has about a half body's length heading into the final lap. Thomas though, not going away with lane seven in Lehigh, Peyton Miles, the senior captain. Boston University now trying to get in for the bronze. It's between Navy and Lehigh. The final event here in the 2020 Patriot League Championships and it will be the gold going to Navy. A fitting way to end yet another year of dominance for the mids and a dominating performance by that young woman right there, sophomore Martina Thomas capturing another gold medal with an unofficial time of 319.51. Lehigh with a fantastic showing in position to win silver at 319.98. And the bronze, if these times hold, would go to Boston University. 
Take another look. Thomas in the white cap in the middle of your screen, trying to hold off Peyton Miles, the experienced captain of the Mountain Hawks. And the sophomore from Navy does just that. There is Thomas and the rest of the foursome for Navy. Who are your 400 freestyle relay champions? Another gold for Navy. And Martina Thomas, with that effort, perhaps just earned not only her sixth gold, but also female swimmer of the meet. Navy and Army, the rivals in the middle, your two favorites. Navy with a final time of 256 36. And they're off on the blocks. Into the first turn here with eight laps in this race. Looks like it's Navy leading with Daniel Cook, the junior. But Army right behind him with Nate Hine, the senior, one of the best swimmers for the Black Knights. Navy, Army, one and two here in the second lap. There is Cook. Heads into that back wall turn and Navy leading Army by about a half body's length as Cook starting to kick it in to an extra velocity. Second divers in. Navy going with Matthew Fidel, the sophomore. 44-44 the time in the first leg for Daniel Cook. Army now trying to take the lead with its second swimmer, Josh Zock. Army Navy right there, doesn't get any better. And there is Zock hitting the wall first in lane six at 105.09 getting a slight lead over the mids. Zock and Fidel, junior, sophomore, Army, Navy, and Navy now taking a slight lead. Fidel with a good turn off that back wall. Now we're heading into the third leg of the race. Four laps to go, Navy 128-27, Army 128-61. Third swimmer for the mids, Jack Dunworth, the junior, going against fellow junior Billy Weber of the Black Knights. And right now, Dunworth getting the best of them. There's a two-team race right now, and it's the rivalry. What a fitting way this night in championship week could end with a Navy Army finish in the final race here in the Patriot League season. It's getting close. Weber, stride for stride with Dunworth, and the two military branches leap off the block at the identical time nearly. 2.12.47 for the Meds, 2.12.54 for the Black Knights. Final two laps to go here. The crowd, ruckus, look at the Mids. 50 yards left, the final race of the 2020 championships. Does it go to Navy or does it go to Army? The anchors, Dominic Wallace in lane five, Graham Ungrady the junior in lane six, and it's Wallace pulling away by almost a full body's length. Navy looking to put a bow on its dominance, they do. Navy with a winning time of 255-43. Taking home gold in the final event here in the Patriot League Championships. We will get the official timing, but it was pretty clear cut as we'll get a look on it from replay in just a moment. Lane six, Navy holding off Army as the Black Knights will have to settle for silver. And in lane three, Bucknell earning bronze. And here's a look at that replay. What a finish here in the final leg. Both anchors, Dominic Wallace and Graham Ungrady swimming sensationally. But it was Wallace who ended up almost winning by a full body's length to cap off Navy's dominating win here in the Patriot League Championships. So congratulations to the mids as we wrap up the ceremonies here inside Lejeune Hall.
Also, want to say that the entire Patriot League Network crew here inside Lejeune Hall are all also gold medal winners. From our camera crew, Jess and James, Patriot League production assistant Tommy Biltcliffe, Emily Parkins on graphics, Isaiah Bewley, the replay director, and Jimmy Johnson, our fearless leader, producing and directing. It has been an absolute blast here bringing you the coverage on the Patriot League Network for the 2020 Swimming and Diving Champions. And a great shot there as Navy sweeps both titles for the women and men and for another year continue its dominance in the pool. It has been a fantastic four days here at the Naval Academy in Annapolis for the 2020 Swimming and Diving Championships. Here's some of the sights and sounds of the 2020 Patriot League Championships. It was fantastic for all four days. All smiles, a lot of records broken, a lot of gold medals handed out, and again, a fantastic showing by the Naval Academy here of the United States. They take home the championship in both the men and women. And again, for this fantastic crew on the Patriot League, I'm Corey Nido. It was a pleasure bringing you all the action, and we will talk to you soon. Once again, Navy sweeps the titles and our 2020 Swimming and Diving Champions of the Patriot League.